Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking head stuff, to be totally honest with you. So I apologize in advance. If you just want to hear what I'm saying, you can actually go and do something else and just listen to the sound. That'd be fine. I do have some B-roll I'll show, but, uh, you know, it may not be anything exciting. But I just want to let you know, I want to tell you about some changes that are occurring to my channel. First of all, this new, relatively new studio here is not going to be my primary studio anymore. I have been outfitting an upstairs bedroom that's free to become the new recording studio. And I may do some other bills and demos and online stuff in that studio using the computer systems. Two of my screens and the new computer backup will actually be up in that room, along with some new desk that I'm getting. Maybe at first, just some tables. So I'm going to show some of those scenes as I'm showing here. And I'm going to make a separate video on what I did to build that up but I want to go ahead and let you know that that is happening and that this may be the actual last video for a while that I film in this studio. In addition to that, I have a lot of other changes that are occurring. I'm going ahead and getting some new equipment, as you'll see upstairs, and I'm getting prepared for going live streaming as well. And I'll talk about that a lot in that video where I talk about the new studio. In addition to that, I want to lay out in this video some of the video creation plans I have over the next few months. Some videos I've already made full decisions on, some I've started already, and others are just in the planning stage. For example, the first one is this camera right here that I'm recording this video on, the Sony ZV-1, which I love. It's been ideal. It was originally designed by Sony as a vlogging camera, but it's much more than that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody how the firmware can be updated. There's a brand new update that was released by Sony a couple of weeks ago. I have yet to load it onto this camera and I'm going to demonstrate how that's done in a video and show you what the end result is and what's changed as a result of that. It actually affects how that camera can get used as a webcam. Now the next video I have in mind is a complete upgrade of my wife's computer. She currently has one that I built before I started this channel. It actually has an Intel i3, I think it's called an 8100 CPU in it, and I have 8 gig of 2400 megahertz memory in it, and I think I just have a uh, 240 gigabyte hard drive, actually an SSD in it. So I'm going to be doing some major upgrades to that that I'm going to make a separate video on. And those parts that I'm pulling out of that one are not going to go to waste. I'm going to use them in another experimental build that I'm doing. And then one of the big builds that I'm going to do is this PC that I'm looking at right now, my main editing workstation, that's going to be replaced. Just about everything is going to be replaced except for maybe the SSDs that are contained on it which is a, a nice one terabyte Samsung M2 drive. Also, there is a couple of one terabyte Western Digital Blue drives that are in there that are going to stay. They're going to be transferred over to the new one. But I'm changing just about everything on it, the CPU, the memory, the, uh, the case itself, and the video card. That's where I'm going to be putting in one of my new 3000 series cards. So look forward to that build. Then the next one I have planned is, you know my Sigma NAS server that I have over there? the one that I also use for Active Directory for my whole home network, that's being replaced. I have a new case that is a 4U rack mountable case that'll go in there. Plus, it'll get a new motherboard, a new CPU, and a few other new features added to it. But the whole idea there is to give it some more expandability so I could add more hard drives to it a little easier than my current Cooler Master um, Elite 130 case. I have that thing maxed out already. That's going to all be transferred over in terms of the hard drives over to this new server, but everything else is going to be replaced. So that's one to also look forward to. In the next video that I plan on creating, I'm going to take one of my two Buffalo NAS drives, which has two 3 terabyte RAID 1 hard drives in it that is used as part of my backup to my Sigma NAS server, and I'm going to upgrade those drives to 4 terabyte. And I'm going to do it in a way that I won't have to start from scratch. There's a, a method that I discovered and I did some testing on it, it seems to work, and I'm going to put that together into a video and show everybody how to do it. It's a little bit tricky and a little bit time consuming, but that way I won't have to create all the accounts that I have on it that are used for backup purpose. And that way then I'll have two Buffalo NAS servers that each have the capability of supporting four terabytes to my primary Sigma NAS server as backups. The next video I'm going to do after that is I'm going to do the roll. I'm going to roll my existing backup server over to my brand new backup server. Actually, I have it back here right now. I don't have it powered on. It's sitting in the back here. 
and I'm going to take that server and it'll become my new backup server that will go up into my new studio. And then the existing backup server will become sort of an experimental PC that I'll be able to play with. Sort of a high-end experimental PC because it'll have a 3060 Ti in it. So be on the lookout for that video as well. And then the video that I do after that, I think is going to be pretty interesting. There's been several comments in some of my other Linux-related videos that I've created. And this one is going to be sort of a beginner's guide to Linux. I'm going to show how to install the Linux server and the Linux workstation. I've already shown some of that, so I'll go through that pretty quickly. But realistically, after that, I'm going to then show some commands, some command line commands and some web-based interface commands that everybody who uses Linux should know. And I think it'll be very helpful and interesting to everybody. I will be using a lot of those commands myself as I set up for my next video as well. In the next video, what I'm going to do is finalize my Raspberry Pi, that is my backup domain controller. That's the one for Active Directory that uh, will back up not the data per se, but the database that's used for all the users that are in my local area network here, which is primarily family and then the multitude of different systems that I have connected to it. I have many accounts that go into it that I create and delete all the time and having the domain controller actually makes that so much easier to switch over from one PC to the other. But if that database on my Sigma NAS were to get corrupted, I would have to then resort to logging into administrator on every PC and reestablishing all those accounts. And that's a lot of problems that the backup domain controller, the little Raspberry Pi, will be able to solve for me. And then the last video that I want to talk about here, but there are going to be many more after that, obviously. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to be also Raspberry Pi related. As you may recall from an earlier video, I actually took a Raspberry Pi 4, which only had uh, 4 gigabytes of memory in it, and I converted it into what appears to be a little console PC. And that one will become a digital video recorder. Now, this is a project that was requested by my family members because somebody who doesn't live with us normally would actually need their own digital video recorder that doesn't come with the service that they have and this will allow them to have their own. It'll be a, nif a nifty little thing that I think a lot of people if they watch that video will find interesting. So those are the changes to my environment, my new studio and some of the planned content that, I pl that I'm going to be releasing sometime soon in the next few months that I just wanted to let everybody know about. If you got anything at all out of this Again, at least consider subscribing to my channel. And that way you'll be able to catch on to a lot of these videos that I mentioned that I'm going to be creating in the very, very near future. So until then, take care. And please, stay safe and stay healthy.